You, you didn't believe she was dead. For a, long, for a long time. Prince Harry says he held on to hope that Princess Diana was secretly still alive long after her passing. During an interview on 60 Minutes about his forthcoming memoir, Spare, the Duke of Sussex told Anderson Cooper that he once believed his mom hadn't truly passed. I just refused to accept that she was, she was gone. Um, part of, you know, she would never do this to us, but also part of maybe this is all part of a plan. I mean, you, you really believe that maybe she had just decided to disappear for a time? For a time, and then that she would call us and we would go and join her. Harry, who was 12 years old when Diana died, said he held on to that belief for, quote, many, many years and hoped she'd return. You write in the book, you say, I'd often say it to myself first thing in the morning, maybe this is the day. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the day that she's going to mm -hmm. reappear. Yeah, hope. I had huge amounts of hope. Then, when Harry was 20, he asked to see the police report about her fatal car crash. The files contained photographs of the crash scene. W why did you want to see it? Mainly proof, proof that she was in the car, proof that she was injured, and proof that the very paparazzi that chased her into the tunnel were the ones that were taking photographs, photographs of her lying half dead on the back seat of the car. But it wasn't until he was 23 and was visiting Paris that he finally came to terms with the fact that his mother had died. It was then that Harry had his driver drive through the tunnel where she died at the same speed. They told Anderson he'd thought, I need to take this journey. I need to ride the same route. Harry detailed that experience in his memoir. Dailymail.com's Charlie Langston told Access Hollywood about that passage in the book and what the royal said he took away from going through the tunnel. Interestingly, Harry says that he was stunned by just how normal the tunnel seemed. He had built it up in his mind as, as this kind of treacherous, deadly experience. And actually, when it came to it, it was a very straight, simple, well-lit tunnel that he says nobody should have died in. And he went through the tunnel a second time, and he admits that it was an incredibly ill-conceived idea, that he had a lot of bad ideas when he was in his 20s, but this was perhaps one of the worst, because while he told himself that it might provide him with some closure, what it actually did was really hammer home the fact that his mother was gone and that she had died in a situation that should never have been deadly. Right. And that was an incredibly hard and horrible thing for him to come to terms with.